Today we're diving into an update on the backbone of the Bitcoin network, the miners. By analyzing their behavior, how much they're earning, holding, and selling, we can gain powerful insights into market health and potential turning points. Miners are often the first to react to shifting conditions, and their actions can signal everything from confidence to capitulation. We'll explore the key on-chain metrics that reveal what the miners are really telling us and what it could mean for the next phase of the cycle. Before we dive into the core miner metrics, let's start with the foundation of the entire Bitcoin network, the hash rate. This chart represents the total computational power currently securing the blockchain, and what it shows is undeniably bullish. The smoothed hash rate remains consistently above its long-term signal line, painting a picture of sustained growth. This is a fundamental indicator of miner conviction. Miners are plugging in more machines, consuming more energy, and doubling down on their investment in Bitcoin's infrastructure. And they don't do that unless the economics make sense. Higher hash rate typically leads price action, acting as a kind of proof-of-work confidence gauge. Simply put, miners are not backing off, they're leaning in. Next, let's have a look at a highly underrated yet powerful on-chain valuation lens, the NVU, or Network Value to User Ratio. You can think of it as Bitcoin's version of the price to earnings ratio, but instead of earnings, we're using user activity. It compares Bitcoin's market cap to the number of active addresses, smoothed over seven days. In other words, it tells us how much is the market valuing each active participant on the network. A high NVU suggests the market might be getting ahead of itself. A low NVU can point to undervaluation or network activity catching up to price. We can compare the current NVU to its 200-day moving average and visualize the deviation with a color gradient, red when it's running hot, green when it's cooling off. Right now, the NVU is trending above its average, which is a sign of strength. But it's not in the red danger zone yet. That suggests we've got more room to run before things look frothy. Now let's move on to miner earnings. Currently, miners are generating about $41 million per day in revenue. That's a healthy figure, reflecting solid network activity and decent fee income. But to put that in perspective, during euphoric market conditions, when everything is overheated and fees are surging, miners can pull in over $70 million per day. So while we're in a strong earnings phase, it's not unsustainably high. Miners are making money, which incentivizes continued network security but we're not at the point where that revenue level suggests market exhaustion or looming distribution. It's a healthy middle ground, and from a cycle perspective, that's exactly where you want to be in the heart of a bull market. Zooming in on miner reserves, this metric tracks the total amount of Bitcoin still held in miner wallets. We see a different kind of story. There's been a consistent, steady downtrend in reserves throughout the bull market. This isn't a fire sale or panic move. It's measured strategic selling. Miners are gradually reducing their holdings to cover costs or lock in profits, taking advantage of higher prices. What's even more telling is that despite this slow bleed of supply, Bitcoin's price has continued to climb. That tells us the market has absorbed this sell pressure, where demand is outpacing miner distribution. So, while shrinking reserves might initially look bearish, in context, it's actually a strong signal. The market is healthy and liquidity is being soaked up. That takes us to my miner flows metric, which tracks the total dollar value of Bitcoin leaving miner wallets. We're currently sat at 11 billion. And when flows have spiked above 16 billion this cycle, it's often a sign that many miners are selling. That can add short-term downward pressure to the market. When flows stay low, it usually means miners are holding their coins possibly expecting higher prices in the future. This metric gives us real-time insight into minor sentiment and potential market impact. If you see flows ticking up and reserves dropping at the same time, that's your cue to watch for a shift in momentum. But to take this a step further, we use the Miner's Position Index, or MPI, which is a more advanced metric that compares the current outflows to their 365-day moving average. Instead of just measuring the raw dollar amount miners are sending out, it tells you whether those flows are unusually high or low relative to the past year. 
That context is critical. High MPI values often show up at market tops when miners are cashing in their profits. In bear markets, it can reflect capitulation with miners selling at a loss just to stay afloat. But in bullish phases, high MPI values might just mean they're optimizing operations or consolidating block rewards. Right now, the MPI sits in neutral territory, not too hot, not too cold. That suggests we're not seeing either panic or greed from miners at this stage of the cycle, which further confirms the picture of a balanced trending market. What makes MPI particularly valuable is that it filters out the noise. It's not reactive to daily volatility. Instead, it gives you a longer term lens on minor liquidation behavior relative to historical norms. It's essentially the behavioral pulse of the most economically sensitive participants in the Bitcoin ecosystem. And now we arrive at the final piece of the puzzle and arguably the most popular minor metric, the Pule multiple. This compares the current daily mining revenue with its average over the last 365 days. It's the ultimate profitability gauge. If the Pule multiple is rising sharply, it means minor revenues are booming, often because Bitcoin's price is rocketing. That's usually a sign of euphoria, and historically, when it hits extreme highs, typically above 2.5, it often aligns with market tops. That's when miners are making so much money that it makes sense to sell, and that wave of supply can trigger a correction. On the other hand, when it drops below 0.5, it's usually a sign of capitulation. Revenues are too low, miners are unprofitable, and weak players are forced out. These have historically been great buying opportunities. Today, it sits around 1.36. Not euphoric, not distressed. And that's good news. Miners are profitable, which means they'll keep securing the network. But there's no overwhelming incentive to dump their coins. It's another sign that the market is in an equilibrium phase with plenty of room to climb before hitting historically overheated levels. So to wrap things up, what we're seeing across all these minor and network metrics paints a pretty clear picture. The Bitcoin network is in a strong and stable phase. Hash rate is rising steadily, which tells us miners are doubling down on securing the network, and that's a powerful sign of conviction. At the same time, the network value to user ratio shows that the market cap per user is elevated but not stretched, suggesting price and user activity are growing in tandem. That's exactly the kind of alignment you want to see during a healthy bull run. On the earnings front, miners are pulling in around $41 million a day. That's a solid income stream, strong enough to show healthy activity and demand, but not so extreme that its signals were at the blow off top of the cycle. We're not in the mania phase just yet, which means there's still room to run. And perhaps most importantly, the metrics that track miner behavior aren't throwing up any red flags. Miners are gradually reducing reserves, but not in a panic. Miner flows are also steady, and the miners' position index and Puel multiple are both sitting in neutral territory, which means we're not seeing aggressive selling or signs of capitulation. It feels like this market still looks balanced. There's no sign of miners rushing for the exit or piling in at unsustainable levels. All in all, it's a constructive setup for the months ahead. If you're serious about Bitcoin analysis, my full custom indicator suite is now live, built for investors looking to gain an edge through deep cycle signals and advanced on-chain insights. It's available now through the link in the description, where you'll also find my free newsletter. And if you found this valuable, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And I'll see you all in the next one.